development system play the pivotal role in developmental processes. They are vibrant, accurate in preferring common resolution to communal problems. While we look at government projects across the state, we will also be looking at how communities of our generation successfully organize themselves to build roads, palaces, drains, schools, hall, amongst many others. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejoke Shodendi Adenyoju. How is your community faring? Let's see. I've seen thanks to that number the community are moving out to corporate bodies to seek for help. A series of letters have been going to those companies and we are still waiting for their response. In the world of Sydney Aries, the whole essence of education is to turn mirrors to windows. In achieving this, Students and pupils of Odoke Kere community travel far on daily basis to access qualitative education. This is Odoke Kere Community High School. I've been in this school since the beginning of the school. This school has been very helpful to the students here and the parents are finding it difficult to train their children in private schools. That's why they have to send us here to this government school. The way it is right now, we need more windows, everything to be okay. You can see everywhere is dusty and we need more help, not only the government, but the officials and private organizations and industries around to help us. They are teaching us a lot and with the way the school is going, it's going to be a great one indeed. So I really appreciate the community and the government for doing all these things for us. I want to thank the community that established this school for us because they have really tried for us. They tell us moral lesson. They teach us very well. They told us to ask questions when we don't understand. I want the government to help us in our school. They can make it to be very, very big. The corporate organization too should help us. The private individual should help us to let our school be more higher than this. I so much I appreciate the community because they have done a lot to us. I'm sure without the school year, many parents won't be able to make it for their children to attend school. I've been here for the beginning of this school. I see the um, improvement of this school. They have tried a lot. For us to encourage them, we have to behave and make them happy when they are teaching us by listening to them in the class, paying attention to their lectures. I want to just see the baby. I want try get it going. Because so bad, Shola, I want me to go to the school school. Because so bad, I want to see the baby. On la fi so pe awa na ni school bi bayi leni ti o ba si si di ko si nkan ko te ba mo bi ta awon mo wa to ma lo si school ni bi bayi emi ti mo duro awon mo mi odungun ona ma lo e ti o ba lo so odungun a lo so gijo lo ohun lohun mo to lati bi bayi di odungun yo at least am a for money be 300 owo mo to la so ko mo won je o a mo dupe lo awon si di bi bayi gidi go won try a situation that has left many sad memories and bitter taste in them heart of community members. Secondary to Wala Dubai, I do don't go on lane, you don't go on to the Kurudu High School. So Wahala Wagon, ni school yen. If the two wafi fata wafi lo ba mo family do kekere in yen, ah, le ma wo mo. Go do ma, go mi ma gbe mo lo ba yi, in gong kong. A party yi, ni toma ni, bi tiri kilometer, lo tiri kilometer bo. So yi di yen la wafi rope yes. Taba che le yi, iru gbogbo an to nlo lati bi sodonguyan lati gbo soro si odonguyan lati agodo sodonguyan awon mi wa ni baraki gan to nlo sodonguyan pe won a ta ba pari school yi won a le dari pada wa sibi for imagine mass market of parent in the cda was income would not allow access to i and basic education for their words within the community they agreed that establishing a community based secondary school is a way out of the unpalatable situation. What gave, actually gave back to the school was uh, the overpopulation of the students in Odongian Grammar School. They're having about 4,000 plus students and 40 teachers. So the teachers cannot be able to 
control the student. So then I met my people, my CDA members. We had a meeting together and we started uh, demanding for land from the families that we needed a school here. So having said this, they gave us the land, so which we eventually embark on the project. We tried our best to put in place about four, four, five or six uh, classrooms. So we were able to roof only three then, when they started. Even before they came for visit from Malau Saden, we roofed only three. So, and then we told the parents, some of them that can afford it, to uh, get a chair, a desk for their child. And that is how we started and we were able to get to this level. In August 2019, the quest for having Odoke Kere Community High School began. One naira of petty traders to five naira of an iron bender to voluntary donations of average citizens within Itesiwajo Dokekere CDA. Her block of six classrooms was baited. Through self contribution from each members of the CDA, each mem uh, members of the community will give support to ourselves. By the time we started, some will just came to our aid, give us a bag of cement, some will give us money to buy, and that is how we are able to do the little we are able to do. I also thank the, the, some individuals that have been contributing to help us, even the government as well, that the law will also continue to increase their strength. I want to appreciate some individuals that have been coming to our aid, like Honorable Kauli Ajipa. She's the one that is building that one. But when he came in and said that, ah, we have the population like this, so therefore he was trying to do something for us. So for I'm using this opportunity to appeal to individuals, corporate bodies to come and intervene to these school problems. We have a lot of problems here because the furniture is not enough. The structures too, we need it. But approval is the most important thing that we need. Some of the community leaders told me that since establishment of the school, it has admitted over 170 students within and outside the CDA. Tenants and training for community people is that they should take ownership of their community. I'm highly delighted that Odogo Kerry has taken ownership of that community. Taking about 150 students away from the streets and then giving them a quality and solid education, I think is a plus for Odogo Kerry and for CDC Kurudu in general. It's now led for us to make sure that we work with Odogo Kerry community that this school is accepted. I want to thank all those people, one way or the other, from the local government to the state who have visited this place. There are still a lot of basic requirements for learning, but taking 150 is a lot. Is a lot if you multiply it by the amount they be charged by the private school. Is a lot. I want to commend the CDA, commend them very well. They have done very well, and it's now left for us to support them. Adele Kongbadebo is a retired teacher of Lambo Lassuan Primary School of Ikurudu North Local Council Development Area. He shared with me why he took up the responsibility of attending to the children's educational needs voluntarily. When the community want to establish the, the school, I joined them in the community efforts. Then they see that attitude in me that yes, this is an experienced teacher. And they are looking for the principal to take care of the school. That, that's why they consulted me to come and assist them. He further revealed how teachers are being searched for the school. This is a community 
effort. And the teachers working here are being paid by the community. So what they are paying them is just a mega money. That cannot be enough for them because they have the interest of the people's, the students in mind. So that is why they are putting on their best. They are really trying. Even uh, we have went so far to meet a uh, do not regard to this uh, syllable, the curriculum they are, that they are using. So they are moving along with the Lagos State curriculum. Executive members of Odokikere Community Development Association took the destiny of the children in their own hands and made a dream project a reality, thereby complementing the work of Governor Babaji de Olushola Sonwolu on infrastructure and education. The, the teachers, when the students started, uh, the teachers are coming in with their certificate. So we invited some of the teachers, those that are qualified, we put them. And those that are not qualified, we told them because we were told from the Minister of Education that any teacher we want to must be a BSc older education. And that's the protocol we follow. Having been recognized by the state government during the last community day. And the winner of the third position for their constituents construction of community secondary school and employment of teachers i'd like to announce from ikorodu north from ikorodu north it's a siwaju odokekere cda thank you now we see the key of the bus they had this to say i want to appreciate the state government even driving the bus around is a testimony that we are doing things. I want to thank them. This is just the beginning. Students are still coming. Even more so now that they heard that the government have come in. We need more classrooms. We need the furnitures. Our GSS3 students that are waiting to sit for their becky. How the government will help us to give them the approval here as a center so that they will not go far. I appeal to the organizations around here in this environment to so please come to the aid of this school so that we can all be together just as a um, private school. Like I'm um, just Stevie, our um, junior Y is approaching. Please, that you come to our aid so that we can sit here for our junior Y. It is the hope of these children that in no distant time, fortune will smile on Udokekere Community High School. Babajide Olushola Soolu, who has been supporting the CDA tremendously. I say salute, sir, for remembering all the CDAs in Lagos State, all, not just Post Office Road Community Development Association. And that is something commendable. I'm not speaking because of, I uh, personally, he has given me a cobble. No, I'm telling you what he has done. The record is there. Any CDA in Lagos State, and you can imagine all the CDAs in Lagos State that he reached personally. Ah, I think that is commendable. It takes more than a desire to save humanity. It takes more than a manifesto to record each success in governance and to impact positively on the lives of the citizens as a leader. No doubt, resounding successes can be achieved through sincerity of purpose on dying zeal and focus on the goals to be achieved, as found in the personality of the number one citizen of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, whose exemplary leadership qualities is inspiring millions of Lagosians who are daily aligning with the greater Lagos vision of the administration through collaborative efforts in supporting the government in making their community a lot more habitable. It's really not about just me standing here as your governor 
is about how partnership can work. It's about how, when we understand what governance truly is about. Governance is about giving up and opening up opportunity for people to help you even govern, which is in your community, make sure that what resources have been made available for you, you make it to better the life of the people that are around you so that they also can have the same opportunity that God has given to you. The recognition and support extended to the over 4,000 CDAs in Lagos State by Governor Babaji de Sonwolu has further inspired the agents of a greater Lagos at the grassroots to rewrite the story of their communities. See, the same image people have about Nigeria abroad, and even Africa in general, is the same image people have about Mushin. But like I've told you that I grew up here, and I have people who have built houses in other locations in Lagos, but still come to Post Office Road Community Development Association area to stay because they can sleep with their eyes closed. So if people say Mushin, Lagos, Nigeria, or Africa is black, I say my own role and the role of every individual who knows why God has called him is to bring light to darkness. So to me, my community is peaceful. That is something that I want the whole world to know that in Mushin, we are peace-loving. Pastor Oyetunde Bamishebi is a product of Mushin. Yes, same Mushin that evokes different thoughts in the minds of many when mentioned. Bamishebi's zeal to continually seek light to the age-long darkness in Post Office Road CDA, Odiolowo Ojuoye LCDA, for a saver, sane and secured community in line with the Greater Lagos vision of Governor Babaji de Sonwolu's administration and him the honor of being a community champion for today. I'm Pastor Oyetunde Bamishebi. I was born in the 50s. I went to St. Paul's Agrican School at Iduro for my primary school education. Secondary school education was in Lagos year two at a Papa Bombay Crescent. After that, I went to St. Gregory's College for what we call HSC, higher school certificate, advanced level. After that, I went to study accountancy, HND, that's higher national diploma in accountancy, I did the Polytechnic Ibadan. And then I did my professional exams. I have computer certificates and all that. I'm married. I'm a chartered accountant who does practice. So for Federal Inland Revenue and various organizations. So I'm in practice. Leaders are guided by principles that unite their people on the purpose-driven agenda. Bamishebi is one of such leaders who unites its community members, irrespective of race, ethnic and religious beliefs, to achieve their objective of creating a united community, driven by passion to excel as a reference standard for other communities in the race for a greater Lagos. Bamishebi is a man that I know very well. Uh, he's an amiable man. He's, uh, he has been helping the people in this community in many ways. And uh, in fact, he has been the one that has been linking us uh, to be able to get some amenities from the uh, local and the state government. And then, um, like the uh, construction of this road, when it was constructed, he was fully involved in talking with the contractors, uh, telling them how things will go. Our street lights, he was uh, fully in it to make sure that this area um, have light, not just the street lights. When we don't have light, he, he talks. In fact, it's like water. He, in fact, he moves and they connect easily with people. He's a detribalized man. Whether you are Ausa, whether you are Igbo, whether you are Yoruba, you are in this community, he's a father to everybody. Community. Mr. Banshebi, we go to buy gear, come and find me. I be told you more, I do go there. Oh my, I'm being a Jew. 
man shark is in your neck. What's the job of the You know, that, that. It's a good man because it will control anyhow, anytime. It will control this street. Make us how people do, how people do control this, does it be where they do, or Katakata will do this road. Whether people wash in front, landlord, 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 they wash them. Any water away, support, support, then start, the cross go. Local government, I'd say many, many, I'd be mal and sally for, I'd say many, many times, it'll go up and down for in straight. Anytime it's up and down for us, the look us where we be. You know, concern, you know, tell you, be house out, you be your bow, you be my Igbo, and body not something for him. Bani Shebe is the man that I've known since I came to this place. He's a generous man. He's a very good man. He helps people around. Especially at the time that we are building, doing this, constructing this road, he was up and doing, following the uh, engineers up and down, doing the work, make sure that the road was fast done. During the time of coronavirus, when they are sharing palliatives, he was the one helping controlling, making sure that all those women, old women and people that doesn't have anything, they get something from the government. All that he's doing, he's supportive to the governor of the Lagos State, the governor somewhere. In his quest to seek solutions to the menace he grew up with, he extended his community activism to other areas in Lagos State. Even in this Lagos, I go around the prisons to give light which I've told you is solution to those who are in prison. We have correctional, five correctional centers in Lagos. On 10th of October, I was at Women Correctional Center where I went to give them food. So it is giving light, that is my joy, to people who are in darkness. Because the essence of life is that the tree does not eat its own food and the river does not drink its own water. So that is the essence of community service. To give back to the community, because it's what you give to the society that you will get back. According to this Lagos clergy, Governor Babajide Olushala Sonwolu is a leader with a clear-cut political will to see the thing's agenda to a logical end. Governor Babajide Olushala Sonwolu, I say salute, sir for remembering all the CDAs in Lagos State, all, not just Post Office Road, Community Development Association. He has personally given gifts to all the CDAs in Lagos State, without exception. And that is something commendable. I'm not speaking because of, I uh, personally, he has given me a cobble. No, I'm telling you what he has done. The record is there any CDA in Lagos State. I can imagine all the CDAs in Lagos State that he reached personally. Ah, I think that is commendable. So I really salute the administration of Governor Babajide Olushola Sawolu for the tremendous work he's doing in Lagos State. today's episode of Lagos Community Update, we want to leave you with this. Coronavirus is real. Let's join hands with the state government to avert the community spread of the pandemic. With that, we wrap up today's episode. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. And in case you have projects or programs in your community, do call the numbers on your screen. I am Adejoke Shodendia Adenyoji. Till I come your way again next time.